Have you ever wondered how animals other than humans sleep? It's such a vulnerable activity, leaving the brain shut down and the organism all but helpless. For humans, we have safe habitats, or our beds, that we return to every night to demonstrate this strange behavior. But how would, say, an aquatic mammal cope with allowing its body to shut down? Let's take a look. Whales and dolphins, marine mammals, have an interesting way of coping with their aquatic habitat when it comes to sleep. Being air-breathing individuals, whales and dolphins have blowholes, which they must open and close voluntarily to allow respiration to occur. This poses the largest problem during sleep for the animals because having voluntary breathing means that some portion of the brain must be awake in order to allow the animal to respire. In contrast, we as humans have involuntary breathing. This means that humans can shut down their entire brain and the body will continue breathing for them. So how do dolphins cope with this? Well, dolphins use a method of sleep in which they unihemispherically shut down their brain. This means the dolphins use only half of their brain, or one side of their brain at a time, while allowing the other to fall asleep. By only allowing one half of the brain to sleep at a time, the cells in each side can rejuvenate appropriately, but the animal remains slightly alert. By closing the contralateral, or opposite as side's eye, and keeping the unilateral eye open, the dolphin can continue perusing for predators and regularly breathing. After every two hours, the hemisphere switch functions to allow the other half of the brain to rest. This switch continues for a normal sleep cycle, or about 12 hours. So it would seem that dolphins have it all figured out, right? But there's actually still some variability in the sleeping patterns of these guys. While resting their brains, dolphins exhibit one of three different movements. They will swim slowly, they will float at the surface of the water, or they will lay at the bottom of the seafloor. Laying at the bottom of an enclosure is generally only seen in captive dolphins, and slow swimming is the most common sleep pattern. In a pod of dolphins, sleeping behaviors will be displayed at the same time, allowing for a safety in numbers situation. With more eyes pursuing for threats, the dolphins are more secure. So overall, dolphins are pretty amazing marine mammals that had to modify their behavior to survive in an aqueous environment. And now you know the mystery behind dolphin sleep habits. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little about dolphin sleep behaviors. Thanks for listening!